why might somebody with one of these interstitial lung diseases need oxygen therapy? That's a good question. And the real reason for why a patient with uh, particularly the pulmonary fibrosis where that wall around the air sac is uh, not only was inflamed, but instead of healing normally, it went on to scar. So now that wall is thickened. And when you inhale oxygen from the air, it has a tougher time getting across that wall and latching onto the hemoglobin in the blood that's going by in the lung. So for the patient with that scarring, uh, particularly with exertion, and that's when we first tend to see uh, a need for oxygen, when you start to move and your muscle demands more oxygen, it can't supply the muscle fast enough. It can't get through that lung air sac fast enough into the blood. And when you measure the oxygen on, uh, for example, a pulse oximeter, the little device you can put on your finger, you might see the levels drop down. So it's primarily because of the difficulty the oxygen has of getting through this, this scarred lung tissue into the bloodstream.